Hi everyone and uh, again myself Gokula Varshini from the Department of Food Technology in SNS College of Technology and I am handling the subject Unit Operation in Food Processing 2. Okay. So in last class we have seen about drying and its uh, purposes etc. So let us have a quick recall and continue the session further. So first the definition of drying. Uh, is nothing but the application of heat under the control condition to remove the water present in the food by evaporation to yield solid products and we have also seen about the purposes of drying and also some of the examples and next we have seen about the mechanism of drying that is how the mechanism is happening and what is the mechanism happening inside the food during the drying process and what makes the drying uh, like uh, what makes the water molecules from the inside of the food to come outside and um, in the next we have seen about the phases of drying what are the phases undergoing by the food product uh, or um, food, uh, the water in the food product to come to the surface and what is the falling rate period and also we have seen about the drying curves and also its phases and we have also seen about the drying rate formula that is dw by dt and we have also seen about the factors affecting drying rate, uh, the external factors and also the internal factors. And uh, we have also seen about the field of application like where are the uh, drying uh, process is incorporated in the food industry and how important the uh, drying process to the food industries. So now let us see about the tray dryer. The tray dryer is also called as the cabinet dryer. So first, um, what is the principle incorporated during drying process? It's nothing but the hot air circulation. So how is the um, tray dryer is um, uh, constructed? So a small or large cabinet is insulated with the compartments to reduce the heat loss and also it is incorporated with the trays and there will be a heater and fire for circulation of air and also uh, uh, for heating of the air and there will be an inlet and outlet and uh, in the batch process the tray will, uh, trays on a shelf with adequate spacing between them and um, uh, heated dry air is circulated between the shelf and the tray bottoms are uh, slatted or perforated to provide air flow through the trays and the drying rate depend on its position of the trays and also the material located closest to the entrance of the dryer has the lowest moisture content uh, and also the material which is located at the bottom of the uh, the lowest tray will be dried quickly as there will be more heat supply to the lowest tray and the cabinet is usually equipped with the movable baffles adjusted so as to have a uniform distribution of the drying air throughout the cabinet and also the inlet air temperature will be around 60 to 80 degree celsius so let us see about working of it so in the working uh, so first material is loaded in the tray and uh, the temperature is set and the uh, fresh air is introduced to the uh, tray dryer and the drying process takes place inside the cabinet and unloading the trays to collect the dried materials and drying of the next batch takes place so mostly the tray dryer or cabinet dryer will be in a batch type process only and um, uh, the loading of unloading trays will either be manual or instrumental and for uh, this tray dryer or cabinet dryers will be mostly used in the uh, drying of sticky materials or granular mass so we can also say like uh, this uh, tray dryer or cabinet dryer can be used uh, in the um, uh, drying of fruits example like grapes dates and apples and also we can use for the drying of vegetables uh, like onion and cabbage and um, also we can use to dry herbs uh, like a parsley, basil and mint and also this tray dryers or cabinet dryers uh, will mostly be used in the laboratory scale in uh, colleges or labs uh, for the drying purposes and also this tray dryer uh, um, 
uh, have uh, can be set up to the temperature of uh, 250 to 300 degrees celsius and it is one of the user friendly and also um, uh, on uh, saying about the disadvantage we can also say like um, these tray dryers need a continuous watching of uh, moisture content or color change uh, if you need a perfect color change and you have to monitor the uh, evaporation process or drying process um, cleanly so that you can take out the product at its desired color and also it can be maintained in a um, very dry state uh, and in the next session we can see about the other types of dryer and thank you